Hey everyone, I heard you've all been having some trouble with the while running den combo in my recent video. And honestly, I actually just found out that a lot of people, they just don't know how to do while running den. Now, what, what are we talking about? I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to waste no time. So with Lars, we all know about dynamic entry, right? That's forward three, right? Forward three, which is his dynamic entry stance, not to be confused with silent entry, which is a, a unique input after you press um dynamic entries because look you see how he does that little pose but silent entries when he goes low to the ground and you'll notice his hand is on the ground and that's where all his silent entry moves come from do you see so we're talking about dynamic entry which leads to multiple moves including two which is the big gut punch four three which is his double pulse kick attack or hell sweep as it's commonly known in the community and you know other other follow-ups right now, in combos, in advanced combos, we do what's called while running den. And the way to explain it is this. I'm going to make him stand here so you can see this. So check this out. I have my inputs on for a reason. Normally, when you do forward three, you get, of course, dynamic entry. If you do forward forward three, you get his dashing kick. If you do triple forward three, you get while running kick, right? That all makes sense. Now, check this out. The thing is... If you do forward three plus four, you actually get dynamic entry. Look at my inputs. Do you see how I did forward three, but I did forward three plus four and I got dynamic entry. There's a reason for that. The reason for that is, is what's known as an option select. You've pressed two buttons on your controller, on your fight stick, on your hitbox, your mix box, whatever. The game is reading the input as the option of forward three because there is no forward three plus four. There's a forward forward three plus four which i just messed up right if you press forward forward three plus four you get double time which is his his low slide but there is no forward three plus four but there's also and more importantly there's no triple forward three plus four because look if i press forward three plus four i get dynamic entry if i press forward forward three plus four i keep messing up because i'm actually doing it too fast if i press forward forward three plus four I get double time, but if I press triple forward, so three forwards, forward, 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 three plus four, I get while running dynamic entry. Check it out. Right like that. Do you see? One, two, three. If I press one, dynamic entry. If I press two, double time. If I press three, I get what's known as while running in. Look at the distance difference. If I just do one while, uh, if I do, sorry, one dynamic entry input, I go that distance. If I press three, Look at the difference. And it's that difference that makes up the majority of Lars's advanced combos. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about, right? For example, forward back to one. That combo is only possible with a while running den. Because, and I'll have to pause it in between. To cover that distance, well it's not only possible, you can do dash back three, but that combo is doable with that. If you notice, when they're far away, after the combo path, look how far I've knocked them away. Do you see how far Jin gets knocked away? If I do a normal forward three, I miss. Let me show you that without the pause. So I'm going to do four back to one. Back three, seven, three, plus four. If I do a normal forward three, notice how I don't hit them. Do you see what I mean? It's the distance that you knock them back after the screw from the send three plus four. That's why you need that. And the thing is, that is within this particular combo, but this works for so many other combos. Now I'll show you a different combo route. Same thing, forward three whiffed because they were too far after the screw input. Now let's do that same thing again, but this time with while running den. See, with that wall running den input, that little micro dash, it works. Let me break it down for you. So in the mechanics of wall running den, it's about understanding timing. First of all, you need to get familiar with doing the actual wall running den input itself. Forward, 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 three plus four. It has to be three. So the way it works is think about a dash. Forward, forward is a dash, a forward dash, right? Now on your third input, like you're doing a running attack, you get forward, 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 three. So running three 
think about it this way. You're, you're pressing forward once, forward again, and on the third time, you're pressing your attack button. If you're doing running three, you're pressing forward, 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 three, and the three is on the third one. So, like that. So you notice how I did forward, 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 three. The final input has to combine the last forward input and your attack. Make sense? Makes sense, right? In doing so with running den, it's the same thing. You're pressing forward, forward, a dash, and on the third input, you're pressing forward three plus four to create the option select dynamic entry stance, right? That makes sense. But the difficulty you're doing in combos is timing. See, a lot of Lars's combos, they may seem simple on the surface, but you really can't dial them. You have to time them. So the way I like to look at this is there's multiple ways to do this. Now, I play on control. I play on the Nacon wired PS4 controller, right? And the way I do this, the way I time it, there's three methods. I'll show you the easiest one for most people to remember. Now, I'll, I'm currently using a custom. This is my Raiden custom, but he has blue sparks. Normally, Lars's sparks are... I think my Alexa just went off. Um, normally, Lars' sparks are purple, but they're blue. Doesn't matter. Point is, just look for the sparks, right? Check this out. So, I paused it. You can't quite see it in the menu, but do you see the hit spark of the second hit of Send 3 plus 4? This is where all your timing comes from. The three ways to do it are this. When you hear Lars do... He sent 3 plus 4. He he makes a unique animation and sound. Did you hear that? He said, hoop tear, right? On that second hit, that's when you need to time your wall running den. Do you see what I mean? There's And when I say there's three ways is you can either look for the spark. You see the spark that comes out. You see how it says middle in the training mode. The spark that comes out from the kick, you need to time your forward, 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 3 plus 4 or your triple forward three plus four, you need to time it for that second spark or when you hear him make the noise. He says, huh, tear. on that tear, that's the part where you time the four. If you time it for the first part, it's not gonna work. You have to time it for the second hit of the kick, which is when he makes the noise and the spark comes out. The other method is if you're on control and you have vibration on, is when you do send three plus four, you'll feel a zzz. On the seconds, that's when you need to time your four, four, three plus four. You're going to know that you did it wrong in two ways. Check this out. Right? So that was too slow. I waited too long after the animation to input my 443 plus 4, so I missed. Here's another, here's another instance. Right? Now, what happened here is I started mashing it. If you look look at my inputs, I started mashing it during the send three plus four, the first hit. So it so it didn't come out at all, and I got a weird input at the end. You can't mash it during the send three plus four, and you cannot mash it after. You have to time it on the second kick. You have to. Like that. You see what I mean? Time it for the second kick. Do not attempt to mash it during or after the the, um, the hit of the Sense Reapers 4. It has to be on the second kick, on the second spark, on the second noise he makes during the attack. Make sense? Makes sense. Now, I'm going to show you something with a walled stage that's going to help visualize something a little bit better too. There's actually different combo paths that make a difference to your choice of using a wall running den that's actually very very important like very important trust me like i'll i'll, I'll explain i'll explain in due time so when you do and i'm, and I'm gonna do it from here because i don't want them to hit the wall so i'm standing on the second to last square on geometric plane look at something Hmm, this may be easier to show if I don't do forward back to one, actually. So, actually, yeah, let's do it from the final square, not even the second last square. Let's do it from the final square, and I'm going to do up forward four instead. Up forward four. Okay. So, from there, do you see where Jin landed? Look at the position where Jin landed. He landed with his back 
in the second to last square on the other side and he stand he's his legs in the middle of the line right that's important because because that's the combo path i chose but you'll notice you'll notice this if i do a different combo path Look where Jin landed. Do you see how he's much closer to me than before? Last time, he was on the second to last square all the way on the other side, but he landed much closer to me this time. The reason for that is not only that I did a combo with slightly less wall carry, but also I chose an end... I chose... Yes, yeah, sorry. The, the combo... Okay, let me, let me start from the top. It's because I chose a different combo path, and the combo path I just chose... It makes them land closer to you. And actually, it actually makes the wall running den easier. It's kind of hard to visualize, but there's a kind of there's a simple way to show what I mean. And I'll show you how. So whereas you can't do a dynamic entry one, you can do this. So let me show you the two combo paths again. So starting with forward one, three, two. I'm gonna do four, three, two. You see how that whiffed? And once again, Jin's very close to the wall. 4-3-2 whiffed, correct? But let me back off again, and let me show you the other combo path that uses the double Den 2 combo, as I like to call it. Did you see how I was able to hit Jin with the Den 2 this time? So if you use the double Den 2 wall carry option, they land closer. What that means... What that means is literally by sheer metrics of measurement and distance, the double den two variation of the combo actually makes your opponent land closer, making wall running den easier. So some of you may know from watching my videos, why does JSC always do the double den two instead of the forward one, three, two alternate? Because they land closer, which makes the combo easier, which also actually works better for certain stages. Let me explain. So let me do the double den two combo. And I drop it completely because I messed up my timing. That's fine. That's totally fine. Wasn't paying attention. Let's try that again. So do you see that? Right? Combo landed. Now, the thing is... The reason why I use that combo for most walled stages is because look what happens if you try to do the alternate version. The one that has more, more wall carry. If I keep, if I don't drop my combo, oh! you know, I'd like to blame V-Sync because I'm doing a monitor, double monitor setup, but you know what? It's fine. I just suck. Just kidding. Did you see that? I hit the wall too soon. Let me explain to all you Lars players out there. You have to understand, and I've said it before in my wall carry and focus video, how you reach the wall is as important, as important as reaching the wall itself. Everyone's like, Lars wall carry this. Oh my God, Lars is wall carry. Listen, it's not about the wall carry. It's about how you hit the wall. Did you see how that combo path made me hit the wall too soon? Forward one, two, three, back three, that combo path hits the wall too soon on most stages. With the exception of like, let's say, Hammerhead, Last Day on Earth, Long Ways, and Abandoned Temple. Most stages in this game, you do not even need the most wall carry. You will hit the wall too soon. Anyway, with that little demonstration out of the way, let me now switch to, I need to go to Violet Systems. Because I needed Geometric Plane to show you with... Literally, I need to like use a ruler to show you that the reason why I use the Double Den 2 is because it has a cleaner wall splat because you're not hitting the wall too soon and your opponent lands closer to you, allowing the combo to be easier, right? The only good reason to use the forward one, two, three variant is if you want to hit the wall on a large stage like this one, right? On a stage like this... You want forward one, two, three. This is so off axis. This is so off axis, and I wasn't paying attention to the combo. Yeah. On a stage like this, you want forward one through three because this is a bigger stage. This is off axis again. Right? That was a little bit off, off, off axis. I may have to use forward back to one here because that is very off axis. I wonder why, what's going on there. 
So on this stage, if I let me let me demonstrate. On this stage, if I use double den two, why is this off axis? <laughs> this is a weirdly off axis stage. I'm not sure what's going on. It's fine. Let me back off. It's all in the sake of learning. I may have to use four back to one, honestly. Okay, let's from here maybe. Yeah, this is probably good. Yeah, it's good. So if I use my double den two. Nothing. I barely hit the wall. They, it's a low wall splat. I get nothing. So on a bigger stage, that's when you need a forward one, two, three variant. So the key to advanced Lars play at quote unquote high level is knowing which combo path to use. People who just dial a combo and do the same combo over and over, the reason why you're messing up your wall combos is because you only learned one combo. You need to know all of them for every possible stage. That's why in my videos you see me do wildly different combos because I have a combo for every different wall distance of every different stage in every different situation. You know what I mean? So in this particular stage, you need to do forward one, two, three. I wonder why I'm messing up. It's the V-Sync timing, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the V-Sync timing. I don't know. You know, V-Sync timing cope. Okay, let's try that again. Thank you. See what I mean? So that managed to hit the wall here. Anyway, so with that little explanation out of the way, let me get back to explaining while running Den. So in this particular, in the arc blast combo I showed in the video on Monday, this uses multiple while running Dens, right? Literally, the combo is impossible without it. So let me just show you for the people who haven't seen it, arc blast. dropped it again i think i know what's going on so i have to offset my timing since i'm playing with v-sync on i have to offset my timing which means there we go there we go okay so there were two wall running dens in there the first was to catch the screw and the second was to hit the wall you see what i mean the difficulty is in knowing how to time it, which I keep messing up because I keep forgetting I'm playing on VSync. But the difficulty is just knowing when to catch a timing. The trick is when you're doing this combo, always be looking for that second spark. You have to time it with that second spark or that second kick or that second noise animation or that vibration. Whatever works for you, you have to time it with that second hit of the animation. Otherwise, it just won't work. If what like to reiterate, if you press it too soon, Lars just won't get it. It just won't come out. So do you see how I got double time? I was mashing it during. If you looked at my inputs, I was mashing it during the animation. It came out too soon, so it didn't work. And if you mash it too late, it won't come out at all. You see what I mean? So. Keep that in mind. Now that was too late because I didn't time it for the second hit of the kick. So it, it is tricky, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect science, but... There you go, see? You have to time I think that didn't combo. <laughs> you have to time it for the second hit of the kick. This applies to so many different combos, by the way, including, I don't know if it works on Jin, but one of the advanced delayed hop kick combos. So I'm gonna hit him with the JST special, you know, my uh, delayed hop kick. So off a delayed hop kick, off forward three, while sending two, down back two, send three plus four. Now there's a while running den here as well, and it's the same kind of problem. You need to time it perfectly. There we go. Nice. So that combo is only possible with while running Den because that little combo path I did, it hits them so far away that it's very difficult to catch. You see what I mean? So you need to time it perfectly. Off for three, off setting two. But this one's quite hard. And I will admit that particular combo path is quite finicky anyway. So just as a demonstration, I'll try and hit it one more time though. There you go. Oh my god, but then, 
but then sometimes the end in the combo just doesn't work. So look, listen, don't don't try that combo at, at home, kids. It's actually very difficult to be honest with you. So, but you you get the idea. You get the point. The point is that while running den is such a big deal when it comes to combos, and it's literally just the key to doing the majority of his high damaging stuff. But honestly, you need to remember that it's all about timing. Now, let me switch back to Infinite Stage because I want to demonstrate something else. I could do it on Violet Systems. But honestly, it's more annoying to set up. Easier to do on Infinite Stage. And that way, we can continue the tutorial um, as we go along. I, I understand it's getting long in the tooth. And at this point, you've probably understood everything. But hopefully, I'm going to show you just one more thing before I end the video because I think it is very, very important. So... In his Rage Drive combo, as in his, well, I should say his combo after Rage Drive, some of you have probably seen this before. The Unblockable, right? Now, there's multiple ways of catching after the Unblockable, some harder than others, but what I go for is while, while running Den. So that used to be the old way of doing it, which I actually find it hardest. So you have to do sidestep cancel. Den 2, which I think that's so difficult now. I, I don't know how I ever used to do that. Yep, that's very difficult. So that used to be the old way. And I, for life of me, I can't catch it. See, that's actually quite hard. Nope. The other way used to be... Running Den, which that's even harder if you ask me. <laughs> you have to do full run... Yeah, there you go. I got it. Yeah, so the old way used to be you did either sidestep cancel Den 2 or literally full sprint. So forward, 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 as in full run, and then forward 3 plus 4, which that was, uh, that was ridiculous. Now, you don't even need that. Look how much easier that is. With while running Den, I hit it first try. First try. Because it's the same principle I've been teaching this whole time. If you do while running Den, it literally opens up so many combo possibilities for his entire moveset. The timing with this one, that may be a conversation another day. But the idea is, what I typically look for with the unblockable is I look for... Wait until the electricity has disappeared from his body. When the electricity has disappeared, that's when you input the forward, 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 three. Uh, well, the triple three plus four. So like that. So wait for the electricity to disappear, and then input the triple four, three plus four. That's typically what I look for. Now, just for fun, let's see if I can hit the max damage. Now, the max damage is, if I can remember... <laughs> Feels good, man. I got it. I actually wasn't sure if I would, but that there it is. I got it. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's honestly the long and short of it. And as I said, this opens up so many combo possibilities. Oh, actually, if we're, if we're going to be styling, this opens up so many combo possibilities, even combos which normally would not be possible. You've seen it in some of my combo videos, some of my tutorials, but it opens up so many combo possibilities, even stuff that wouldn't be normally possible or just difficult. For example, uh, this, if I can hit it. Oh, wait, I already did the wrong path. I know what I did wrong. Okay, I figured it out. Oh, that's hard. That's very difficult. <laughs> I did this in Comeback King 3 during a match, so you, you, you can know how, how good I felt about hitting this because it's actually quite hard to hit. Yeah, so like that that combo is normally not really possible, but with while running den, because you see how look how far away it puts them. Let me try that. Oops. Look how far away they fly after that rage drive. Like look how you see how far away it sends them across the screen? Normally that's very difficult. You have to do like like literally run back three, but you don't need all I mean look how far away he landed. Do you see what I mean? It's like normally you need run back three, but with while running den, anything's possible. But the timing for this one is super strict. Yeah, so like I said, this opens up so many possibilities, so many combos and such. But the trick to remember is always time it for the second hit of his kick. Not sooner, not later.
right? Once again, the second hit of his kick. Back three, send three plus four. That was too slow. That was too slow. There we go. Always the second hit of his kick. And don't get me wrong, it won't be perfect. Even me, you've seen in this video, I've dropped it multiple times, but that's kind of the point. Such a powerful tool like this is not the kind of thing that is mastered easily. Even for me, who's been doing it like for a while. That was bad. That was terrible. <laughs> it's the kind of thing you need to just practice at. Damn near, damn near beat your head against the wall. Why am I missing this? There we go. Yeah, sometimes you just know when you hit it, too. It's the kind of thing you just need to just keep on practicing. Like, I'd love to say, oh, there's a trick to it, but... Not really. There's no trick. It's like you just need the timing down. No matter which version of the... Comp oh, but I will say, I will say that... And I guess this is kind of the final note to end the video on. It's something I spoke about earlier when I showed you the demonstration in Geometric Plane. Why do I go for this version over that version? Well, there's also a reason to do that in Infinite Stage. Check this out. So, if I go for the normal combo path, which is forward 1, 2, 3, back 3, send 3 plus 4, right, I, I do drop it easier because they are further away. I demonstrated that. They are further away. Right? But if I do the Den 2 version, they're much closer, so the combo is much easier. Now, in case you didn't see it, this combo does 75 damage. Right? Off of forward back to one starter. If I didn't drop it, my goodness. Forward 1, 2, 3, yep. So that's 75 damage, right? Off of forward 1, 2, 3 starter. Off of double den two starter, which I will kind of explain. Four back two one, down for three down two two. Oh, <laughs> I missed the two. Four three two, down for three down two two. Back three, same three plus four. Right, that's much easier. Except when I mess it up. That's much easier because they're much closer. The difference is it's 73 damage. So for a slightly easier combo, you're giving up two points of damage, which isn't much. It's really not much. For an easier combo, you're giving up two points of damage. I say easy and I've been dropping it. <laughs> but it is easier. They are much closer. Right? It's much easier. They're much closer. But you're only giving up two points of damage. Now, this doesn't matter. Except in... Wow, I can't believe that dropped it. Except in a few cases. And those cases are at the end of rounds. If you're at the end of a round, yeah, it might be tempting to go for this version of the combo. But keep in mind that in a game with plus 5 HP in Season 4... Going for 75 damage might make the difference over 74 because there's a real chance that 75 might be the reason you win if you, than if you did 73. Trust me, I would know. So that's the only reason to do that. Now, I should mention about the elephant in the room. That. Okay, yeah, you can do that. But the thing is, me personally, I think doing forward, forward, back three forward is a little bit more complicated than just doing triple forward right you can do dash back three forward send one you could do that or you could do triple four three plus four forward one i mean i don't know it's i feel like it's simple math right you could do that also in the other alternate path you can do the same thing you could do dash back three and that might be easier for you it very much might be but keep in mind if you think, oh, well, dash back three is easier for me. It might be easier for you, but guess what? You're giving up so many different combo options and potential if you do that. Because if you only learn dash back three, guess what? You lose um, you lose access to certain combos like the Rage Drive one I showed you. And also, one of the biggest damages for Arc Blast. So Arc Blast, it's funny we're showing the, the wall carry, but Arc Blast, there is a, actually an alternate combo. So most people know this combo, right? Down for two yet, yeah, right? Most people know that one. 69 damage, right? 
which is down for three, down two, jab, which is two jab, down for two one, right? Most people know that combo. Now, some people know you can do down forward one, but this one's a bit finicky to get 70, but to get that, it's a little bit weird. You kind of have to do down forward one, and you kind of have to, it's a bit weird, but look at my inputs. You kind of have to do, do you see how there's a micro forward in there? You have to do like a micro forward down forward one. It's 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 finicky and it's not very consistent. But with while running Den, new combos become possible like uh, this. Which I messed up immediately. Feels good, man. There we go. Right? 71 damage, which is one of the highest damages you can get from clean hit... Um, what's his name? Clean hit Arc Blast, right? There's, a, there's multiple reasons why this is effective. Multiple reasons. One of the first reasons is this. One of the best, easier ways to get 70, other than the one I just showed you, is actually to use 4 2 one. Down forward 1, 4 2 one. If I don't mess it up, man. This is a video about Ron running down. I'm the one messing up. It's pretty funny if you think about it. Oh my god, I did it too soon. Oh! Everyone's gonna make fun of me. There we go. Right, so that's 70 damage. And you're thinking, okay, why not do that all the time? Eh, well, I'll, I'll explain. I can't believe I dropped that. I'm actually shocked I dropped that. There we go. So, yeah, that's 70 damage. Why not do that all the time? Uh, this is why. Did you see that? <laughs> did, you, did you see that? Off of a sidestep, that doesn't work. So look, down for three, down two, down forward one, four, two, one. On clean hit, that works. On sidestep, it doesn't. It just whiffs. So you cannot do the 70 damage arc blast combo from four, two, one if you sidestep. And that is a massive problem because sidestep arc blast has always been a staple of Lars since Tekken 6. So. If a sidestep removes one of your best combo paths, then it's a reason to learn something else. I keep telling people that if you only learn one combo path per combo, you're going to be so screwed when it comes to certain situations. So yeah, on clean hit, that works. Right? On clean frontal hit, that works. But on sidestep, guess what works? See, the combo I just demonstrated on sidestep works consistently, whereas the 4 2 one variant does not. And how is it possible? While running Den, like I said. I can... I, mm, I don't know, but I may... Let me sidewalk a little bit and see if it still works. So I'm really on Jin's left side now. Yeah, look at that. So it doesn't quite work on full sidewalk. But... It does work pretty consistently as well. Okay, well, that's way too far to the side. Whoa, I was like practically like disappearing into him, dude. Yeah, so on full sidewalk, it doesn't work, but on side step, it's very consistent. Yeah, there you go. It also applies to certain characters as well. Now, here's another instance of where while running Dan is very, very useful. So, off of while standing one, while standing, wow, while standing one, there we go. There's multiple combo paths, but one of the highest damaging involves, well, you guessed it, while running Dan. So, this combo path is very finicky, but there's multiple ways to get to it. So the, the old one used to be from down for 2 one So that's 70 damage. That's good, but I'll be honest with you, it's very finicky and quite frankly does not work on... That was crazy. Does not work on certain angles. So it's like, it's actually very difficult. So the reason why it's okay to do that version of the combo, the problem is the chances you might actually just whiff. You see what I mean? It doesn't really work effectively. But, there's a different combo path, which is... Two, 
same damage while running den simple so let me let me let me break it down while standing one side switch down for three down two jab back th wow i completely screwed it up that's crazy uh-huh back three centimeters four right nice and easy right so for a clean 70 damage off of a while standing one forward three it also works with forward forward two forward three even more devastating too Right, 74 damage. So, while running Den honestly opens up so many possibilities for Lars's combo pass, including the now, you know, up and coming Arc Blast wall to wall combo. It's very, very important that you learn how it works. And unlike me in this video, not drop it consistently. I should add that I think the problem is that I'm trying to demonstrate it while talking, while playing on a V Sync monitor, while coping, and then screwing up. But. This is why you gotta practice, you know? You can dial- what is going on here? You can dial so many of Lars's combos, but this is one of the few that you cannot dial. You have to time it. There we go, I was like, what is going on here? I, I, you, know what, you know what the problem was? I was dialing, that was the problem. <laughs> you see what I mean? So it opens up so many possibilities to his combo pass. And allows all the crazy wall combos and crazy comebacks and stuff like that like all that stuff is then possible with that combo do you see what i mean so yeah to to recap when doing send three plus four look for the second hit of the kick look for the second spark that's what you want to time you really got to pay attention to it eventually it might become second nature but it still takes some practice to get used with you know what i mean and also, you may be noticing, the keen eye of you may, may notice that, hey, hasn't JC been doing forward 3 plus 4 this whole time? I have. If you notice, I've been using forward 3 plus 4 during all of my combos, actually. So uh, even though I can use forward 3 on its own, with my control setup, it's easier for me to do forward 3 plus 4 for all parts of the combo as long as it works. So check this out. So you notice during that combo, I mean, actually, let me keep my inputs up. Look how many times I use 4, 3, plus 4. It's because so many hits in the combo involve a, a dynamic entry input. So I, it's literally forward back to 1. That's not forward back to 1. Forward back to 1, forward 3, 2. And there, I use 4, 3, plus 4. Forward 1, 2, 3. And I use back 3, plus 4, because back 3, plus 4 also comes out as 4, 3, plus 4. In fact, here's a fun little trick. So back 3-4 is one of Lars's most long-range punishes, right? Back 3-4. But what if I told you that back 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 does the same thing? Because look, there is no back 3 plus 4. So if you press back 3 plus 4, the game's like, oh, I'm going to select the option of back 3 because it's the only option there. So if I do back 3 and I press back 3, 3 plus 4, I get back 3 plus 4. <laughs> Sorry, I get back 3-4. So back 3 gives me back 3... Ugh. Back 3 plus 4 gives me back 3, right? Pressing 3 plus 4 again gives me back 3, 4. So, you see what I mean? Back 3, 4 or double back 3 plus 4. Which is why in combos, I can press, do you see that? I can press back 3 plus 4 as a substitute for back 3. Right? I could do it manually, but once again, it's for my control setup, it's easier that way. Trust me, my R2 button gets a lot of action. <laughs> so, with all that in mind, if you practice consistently the send 3 plus 4 timing, it'll make it easier to catch this combo. And then, more importantly, make it easier to do this combo. I should mention, on its own, I messed it up, I should mention, on its own, its damage isn't bad either. Wow. I am dropping that something fierce. There we go. So, oh, but I didn't finish it because I was like, am I, am I going to hit this time? So it's 68 damage on its own, which... That's fine, but like, why would you want to? It's listen. It's a wall carry only combo. You may want to style on people, but like, you honestly don't. You don't need that. You, you don't need it. 
You don't need it when, remember, I told you this combo, the one that works off a sidestep, the one that works off a sidestep. In fact, you know what? Let me let me let me open up Factor Realm because I have this suspicion, this sneaky suspicion, that my point about the combo path is very relevant to Factor Realm because characters like Factor Realm, Gigas, characters like that, they tend to slip out of combos annoyingly. So I'm fairly. Does this one work on him? It does. Okay, so that combo path does work on him. Yeah, it does. Right. But if if you if you watched the arc blast video, you'll notice that this one doesn't. He just falls out of it, which is very frustrating. So unfortunately, Fakiram cannot be hit by that wall carry combo, sadly, which is very very frustrating. But he can be hit by this. Right. So that's what I, that's what I mean. But like. This, there's something to be said about playing not just for style, because style is important, not just for style, not just for wall carry, you know, but for consistency. It's good to have in your pocket a combo that is consistent and high damaging for every character in the game, because that is what's going to make the difference between making a comeback and falling just short of the wall or falling just short of winning. You see what I mean? Now, for my final trick, for my final trick, and to end this video because it's getting very long at this point, it's uh, approaching 40 minutes, is I'm going to recreate that combo at the end of the Arc Blast video, the one on Hammerhead. Because this uses two while running dens, but the second one is much harder because this is a while running den two into a... Actually, no, this is uses three. Come to think of it. Holy crap. This is uses, Does it use three or two? No, it uses two. It uses two. Because it's, it's the Rage Drive, and then you need to do Wall Running Den to catch it, and then you need to do Wall Running Den. Yeah, so this one uses two, but the one, this one's a bit harder. So let me, for the fun of it, do this real quick. And, um... Yeah, just I'll end the video there because it's getting super long. And I'm and listen, I listen. I look at the YouTube metrics. Eighty percent of you left after the first ten minutes. I know. Don't worry about it. For those who stayed, uh, thanks for watching. Ooh, that was off-axis. <laughs> so if it whiffs like that, it's off-axis. Which is, as powerful as this arc blast combo is, man, if it's off-axis, well, you already lost, sadly. You already lost. Okay. Wow, what combo was that? Holy, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> getting way ahead of myself. Dude, what is going on? Man. Listen, combo video making, it's not all glamorous. You gotta repeat things a billion times and stuff doesn't always work but I think Jin's just a little bit jagged actually so let me just knock him down so he realigns with me okay so that might be it there we go wow dude Jin is so off axis that's crazy he's just he's just dropping man because I'm trying to I'm trying to line it up okay let's try that one more time there we go Now that's hard. So instead of doing while running three plus four, you're doing while running two, while running den two, which is actually very difficult to catch. It's much more harder to catch than the other one. This is off axis. Nope, never mind. That's very, very hard to catch. Because whereas doing while running den into three plus four works after a normal combo. I'm using rage drive, which pushes them way farther away, makes this much, much harder to catch. So just for demonstration's sake, let's see if I can actually hit it. That's very difficult. That's very, very hard to catch, to be honest with you. But it's possible. It is entirely possible. I mean, I, I know because I literally did it for the video. Oh, this is off axis. This is off axis in the other direction. Nope, nope. Chalk it. Next, next try. Listen, feel free to leave the video. By the way, I just want to see if I can hit this. Like I, at this point, this is for me. Like this is even for you at this point. <laughs> like I want to see if I can hit this for me. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's so difficult. That's really hard. Lord knows how I hit it in the video. Although maybe it's Lee. Maybe it's because Lee has longer legs. 
Because I will say, leg, leg length has something to do with it too, unfortunately. Wow, that didn't, that didn't even go far at all. He didn't even travel from that. What the heck? See, the annoying thing about this is because you can't start with your back to the wall, you got to set it up every single time, and it's very boring, I know. But I promise you, I will hit it. That's all faxes. Better. I did it. Feels good, man. <laughs> You know how I kind of knew as I was doing it that I did it? It, it everything felt right. Anyway, listen, y'all can get out of here at this point. I mean, look, that's while running down, all right? Remember, try to time it for the second hit sparks, the second kick, the second noise he makes. That is the key to everything, all right? That's how you do it. It's very, very difficult. You know what? One more, for real, for real. <laughs> I mean, we're having fun at this point. It's YouTube. I mean, if you can't have fun with YouTube, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Now, this one is much more difficult because this one has even more distance. I'm trying to even remember the correct combo path. Is this right? Or am I thinking of the wrong? So, because Island Paradise... I did this in a... Yeah, I did this in my wall carry video. This one... Yeah, so it's possible to do it from the wall break as well. Once again, while running dens. Okay, is it from the wall break or can you actually do it from the ground? I feel like you can do it from the ground. Ah, screw it. Let's go! Wee! That didn't even combo, but you know what? I'm done. Alright, see ya! Alright, thanks for watching, everybody! First try! Woo! <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody! I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, be, be sure to check out the Arcblast video. That's my second to most recent video. Anything else you need to know? Um, yeah, be sure to ask me in the comments. I hope this is useful. And if you have any other questions, you know, I'm always happy to answer questions. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, that's it. Peace.